seated for the Pro-Chancellor of the University of Lincoln. Good evening, everyone. That's the first time we've had a round of applause before anything has happened. <laughs> it's my great pleasure and privilege as Pro-Chancellor of the University of Lincoln to welcome you all to this graduation ceremony. Welcome first to all our guests, here to celebrate the achievements of your children, grandchildren, family, and friends. Welcome to the friends of the university, whose steady support over the years has helped to build its success. Welcome to my colleagues, the staff of the university, through whose efforts the university is what it is today. And finally, and particularly, Welcome to our students, our graduates, for whom this ceremony marks the culmination of years of hard work and study, and we hope a little fun too. This is a very special occasion for us all as we come together to recognize and celebrate your work and achievements. It maybe has an even greater importance this year when enforced separations have unavoidably changed and diluted the nature of fellowship and friendship that is such an important part of university life. So, revel in the festivities with friends and family, and always remember your graduation with immense pride and profound satisfaction. The Reverend Canon Nick Brown presenter of Lincoln Cathedral, will offer the congregation his welcome on behalf of the Dean and Chapter. Pro-Chancellor and Provost, honoured guests, families, friends and graduates, it is my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the Cathedral's Chapter, which is its governing body, and of all those involved in the life and work of the Cathedral, to offer you a very warm welcome to this graduation ceremony. You are most welcome here on this very important day in your lives. The cathedral is a place of worship and pilgrimage to which all are welcome, as well as being a building of historical importance. It is a place where you, as members of the university, have been held in our prayers during your time in the city. And it continues to be a place that will pray for you as you begin the next stage of your life. It has also been a centre of learning and education now for well over 950 years. So this evening you are following in the footsteps of many other students through the ages in continuing this tradition in this place. Today we come to celebrate with those of you receiving degrees, but we also come to thank those people who have made all of that possible. The staff of the university, both academic and administrative, together with your families, supporters and friends. For those of you graduating, today marks the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. There will be exciting challenges and thrilling adventures waiting for you. We hope that you will fulfil your ambitions and dreams. And may I wish you all every success in whatever the future holds for you. I invite you now to a moment of stillness, as in this house of prayer I pray. God of wisdom to whom we give thanks for the gift of learning. Hear us now as we give thanks for those achievements we recognize today. And bless each of us with the continued gift of insight and knowledge into the wonder and beauty of creation, that our lives may be ever more fully enriched and the world in which we live become ever closer to the image of your perfection. This I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we have held you in our prayers during your time here, you will be remembered at our services tomorrow. And whether you are able to join us in person at all or not, please go from this place with our prayers and our best wishes for the future. University Provost and Senior Deputy Vice-Chancellor Professor Liz Mossop will address the congregation.
Pro-Chancellor, honoured guests, friends, colleagues, and of course, most importantly, our graduands. Can I add my welcome to this graduation ceremony today? In the magnificent setting of our very special Lincoln Cathedral, today we will celebrate achievement and success. Graduation day is incredibly special, not just for you, our graduands, but for everyone who has supported you to get you here today. Doing a degree is definitely not a solo venture and your family, friends, your loved ones, and of course my colleagues here behind me have all played a part in supporting you to this point. We are all here to celebrate with you. We are very, very proud of your success. So make sure you have a really special evening. Graduation ceremonies might seem a little serious, but believe me, clapping, cheering, a bit of whooping is definitely permitted, as loud as you possibly can. A bit early, but well done. Our ceremony today can only happen with the support and hard work of the university graduation team, as well as the cathedral team. They really want this to be a day to remember, so a huge thank you to them on your behalf. It falls to me today to give you, if you like, your final lecture of the degree which you are going to be awarded this evening. Don't panic. It's only going to be a few minutes long. There's no need to take any notes and there won't be a quiz at the end. But seriously, it is a great privilege to be able to give you a few final pieces of advice. So here goes. I want to begin with embracing uncertainty. That feeling of not knowing is something that will be present throughout your future career. And that's where I want to start today. Indeed, in the last few years, we have all managed more uncertainty than we felt possible. I know many of our graduands today started their degree in the very thick of the COVID pandemic. It was uneasy not knowing what was happening and not able to get answers to the many questions and problems we were all dealing with. It was uncertain for you, our students, and it was uncertain for my colleagues here who manage this both at home and at work for you, our students. Whilst we all experience this period of uncertainty together, you will have many more periods of not knowing your next step or that answer to that crucial question in the future, where perhaps you feel a little more alone you may be feeling uncertain now if you don't have a plan mapped out. Don't worry, you are not unusual in this. But what I would suggest is that you tackle as, as you tackle uncertainty in the future, you remember that uncertainty encourages curiosity and questioning. And from this comes learning and growth, even though the path to this may be painful at times. As you wonder about your next steps in the future, embrace that approach and step back from control on occasions. Great careers and lives are often built on taking chances and opportunities that only appeared because certainty disappeared. So that's my first piece of advice to you today. Embrace uncertainty in all its sometimes painful presentations. You may reveal an opportunity or a skill set that you didn't know existed. The second theme I want to touch on today is the importance of the support team that I mentioned at the start of this speech. Whatever phase you are at in your life, you have people around you who are cheerleading you on. They are your shield of resilience. They have supported you in small and bigger ways to get to this point today. And many of them will of course continue to support you well into your future. When things go wrong for us and we feel a little off course, you sometimes hear people saying, well, she just should have been more resilient. Well, the good news is that in case you haven't realized it, this re resilience comes most definitely from those around you. You have had a support team there for you during your studies and the team will differ and change as you progress your career. Your future colleagues who you will build trusting relationships with will become part of this future resilience as they support and guide you through the world of work. You may be there already. Your team may already be in place. And of course, you will already be part of other people's resilience. So don't forget, 
Life is not a solo venture, and having that team around you is key. They will pick you up when you are down and help you tackle the biggest of problems. So recognise them, identify them, and say thank you every now and again. The final thing I want to touch on is the concept of civility. Most of us don't set out to be rude or dismissive of others, but situations sometimes lead us there. We've all been there, believe me. But what research tells us is that even the lowest levels of incivility can impact on performance in the workplace and indeed on our lives. Incivility kills helpfulness and collaboration, meaning teams do not function effectively. Perhaps even more worryingly, being uncivil to each other increases the chance of making a mistake. And of course, in settings like healthcare, this could be fatal. So remember, empathy and kindness to others is always worthwhile. It doesn't mean you can't question and challenge, but it does mean you should do these things politely, professionally and with care. By taking the time to consider others' perspectives and generally being a decent human being, your own challenges will reduce as you become a member of that magic thing, a fun and hard-working team. So be kind, invest in others, and remember that we all see things differently. I promised a short final lecture, so there you have it. A little bit of advice around embracing uncertainty, building your resilience through others, and remembering the importance of civility and kindness. Things that I know many of you will already be doing, and that add to the toolkit of skills you have developed during your time here with us at Lincoln. It just remains for me to wish you all the very best for your future success and happiness. Wherever you go and whatever you do, keep in touch with us. Remember us here at Lincoln. Be brave, be your brilliant selves, and above all, be kind. Thank you. By the authority vested in me by the academic board, I confer on you all the awards to which you are entitled. <laughs> Professor Kate Grafton, Head of the School of Health and Social Care, will present graduands who are receiving their awards this evening. Pro-Chancellor, I'm pleased to present the graduate receiving the Research Award from the School of Health and Social Care. Degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Health and Social Care Research Opportunities. For their thesis, Communication and Patient Safety in the Veterinary Industry, Eleanor Russell. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving the postgraduate awards from the School of Health and Social Care. Degree of Master of Science in Advanced Clinical Practice. Emma Rebecca Bradley. <clears throat> Ncheri Occhieri. Postgraduate Diploma in Advanced Clinical Practice, Jane Ball. The Postgraduate Certificate in Advanced Clinical Practice, Laura Weingarter. Degree of Master of Science in Advanced Clinical Practice, Primary Care. Ruth Louise Walker. <clears throat> 
Degree of Master of Science in Nursing, pre-registration, adult. Jennifer Hartshorn. <laughs> Degree of Master of Science in Social Work. Sally Cooper. Postgraduate Diploma in Social Work. Mifu Kapetka. Postgraduate Certificate in Independent and Supplementary Prescriber Preparation. Rebecca Gregory. Francis Keane. Tammy Sewell. Dawn Skinner. Siobhan Marie Sodiwala. Leanne Welfel. <laughs> po Chancellor, I'm pleased to present the graduates receiving the first awards from the School of Health and Social Care. Honours degree of Bachelor of Science in Health and Social Care. Sinead Ufi Barron. Sarah Louise Baxter. <laughs> Jessica Dawn Bunn. <laughs> Kira Cave. <laughs> Ellie Leona Chapel. Sophie Cooper. Charlotte Crolly Wayne. Ellen Lily Davy. Lauren Rebecca Drayton. Laura Enright. <laughs> Paris Fern. <laughs> Jenna Fox. <laughs> Jasmine Paris Gill. <laughs> Lauren Grant. Holly Green. Paige Hobday. Hannah Lauren Kay. Paige Monaghan. Hayley Newham. And the Pascords. Amy Stuckley. Millie Taylor. Trisel Valentine. Chloe Walters. Caitlin Woods. Ava Mary Young.
Honours degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, registered nurse, adult. Chloe Alcock. <laughs> Kerry Arliss. <laughs> Sophie Atkinson. <laughs> Alexandra Ayres. <laughs> Gemma Rose Barnes. Lenise Bennett. <laughs> Anne Marie Betty. <laughs> Aileen Bino. <laughs> Eve Fiona Buddle. <laughs> Holly Ann Burton. Natasha Burton. <laughs> Hannah Cap. <laughs> Lucy Fraser Chadwick. <laughs> Georgina Charlesworth. <laughs> Rebecca Rose Clark. Bethany Cluro. Jamima Alice Cook. Sasha Cordy Nice. Emily Rose Crashley. Molly Creed. Leah Crowder. Sarah Chloe Dale. Theresa Daly. Gabrielle Carolina de Souza. Abigail Ellis. Laura Ellis. Grace Fellows. Chloe May Fisher. Holly Fitzsimmons. Jacqueline Forbes. Laura Jane Foster. Samantha Jane Gabitas. Katie Gillett. Emma Gowans. <laughs> Millie Green. <laughs> Emily Louise Gray. <laughs> Eleanor Louise Gruby. <laughs> Carly Hale. Hero Hall. <laughs> Jessica Hall. <laughs> Daniel Chloe Mary Hammonds. <laughs> Sharon Harris. <laughs> Lu 
Larissa Diana Hartigan. <laughs> Kerry Haywood. <laughs> Zoe Healy. <laughs> Emily Hewis. <laughs> Lauren Mary Hill. Rebecca Hoodless. <laughs> Hannah Howard. <laughs> Katie Hudson. <laughs> Macy Hunter. <laughs> Q Hung Rose Jiang. Georgia Mae Jobson. Jordan Lee Johnson. Sharon Lynn Johnson. Tegan Jones. Valerie Ann Jones. Millie Ann Joins. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Colliandras. <laughs> Chelsea Lamborn. <laughs> Janine Lee. <laughs> Katie Lee. Shannon Leonard. <laughs> Iona Lily Levy. <laughs> Liberty Jade Limbert. <laughs> Kirsty Litchfield. <laughs> Lisa Ann Lowther. Courtney Mabbott. <laughs> Joanna Ellen MacDonald. <laughs> Samantha Manwell. <laughs> Lauren McKenzie. Katrina Rose, June McNaughton. <laughs> Jasmine Melody. <laughs> Kirsty Morris. <laughs> Katie Louise Murden. <laughs> Cheryl Alice Newton. Chloe North. <laughs> Kerry Newton. <laughs> Dion Aldridge. <laughs> Nancy Onyango. <laughs> Marin Pater. Charlotte Louise Parnham. <laughs> Molly Ann Payne. <laughs> Lindsay Pickford. <laughs> Just <go> straight through. <laughs> Kerry Portis. And Rose Violet Price. Yeah! 
And that concludes the, presenta the first part of the presentation of awards. We call upon alumna of the School of Health and Social Care, Mrs. Trish Tsuro, to address the congregation. Pro Chancellor, Provost, distinguished guests, graduates, family, and friends. Exactly six years ago, I sat where you are. The difference between my six years ago and today is that someone noticed me. We go about our business without realizing what we do or say can make us stand out from the crowd. And when someone notices and takes an interest in us, it might be just the one thing that unlocks a future of excitement, growth, and development. Curiosity got me noticed. I asked a question that, was, that has directed my career in the last six years. During my final year as a student nurse, after group presentations in the service improvement module, if you took it, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I asked what would happen with all the great ideas. I could not believe that they were all new ideas. Surely some of this has been thought of before? It turned out to be the birth of my passion for research. I am now a clinical research nurse for ULHT based at Pilgrim Hospital. That question led me to become a clinical academic fellow alongside my preceptorship on the vascular ward at Pilgrim Hospital. I did not fancy driving to Lincoln every week for another year, but I'm so glad I did not disappoint those who noticed my potential and nurtured my passion. Plus the view of the cathedral as I drove into the city was always a comfort. Who gets tired of that? I went on to do my Florence Nightingale leadership course on the Windrush Scholarship, again because of curiosity but this time from a mentor who asked, what next, Trish? I moved to ICU October 2019 and spent two years fighting the bug head on alongside many other COVID-19 heroes before finally joining the research and innovation department almost two years ago. I've shared my journey with you to encourage you to be curious, ask questions, and to demonstrate the importance, no, the power of others. When I started my nursing degree, I actually did not know what I wanted to do with it, apart from work as a nurse, have a profession, be financial viable, all that blah, blah, blah. So it is still okay to be unsure. However, when someone notices and takes an interest, have a little faith, Maya Angelou said, if I could give you one thought, it would be to lift someone up. Lift a stranger up. Lift her up. I would ask you, graduates, lift someone up. The very idea of lifting someone up will lift you as well. The Un University of Lincoln did that for me. Oh, and tell your story it will surely get you noticed. Congratulations, well done, and best wishes. <laughs> Professor Kate Grafton will continue presenting graduands who are receiving their awards this evening. Pro-Chancellor, 
I'm pleased to present the remaining graduates receiving award, first awards from the School of Health and Social Care. Honours degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse, Adult. Victoria Jane Reed. Danielle Robinson. Kimberly Robinson. Charlotte Ann Louise Roos. Katie Scottford. Emily June Seward. Declan Shaw. Bethany Shuck. Kofi Rosina Silva. Laura Skinner. Ella Speck. Lauren Jade Stevenit. Susan Straw. Sophie Swatton. Caitlin Tolbert. Jennifer Alice Tolbert. Laura Taylor. Luann Thompson Stevens. Fiona Catherine Tudge. Rhiannon Ward. Cody Kira Kellis Wells. Lucy Wig. Lee Amy Wilby. Amy Wilkinson. <laughs> Chloe Angela Wilkinson. <laughs> Wendy Louise w Wilson. <laughs> Chloe Wood. <laughs> Claire Woodall. Honours degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse, Child. Alice Enright. Lucy Hamilton Harrison. Ellie Humphrey. Charlotte Money. Sarah Radford. Terry Slade. Jessica Small. Honours degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Registered Nurse, Mental Health. Elizabeth Ack Akers. <laughs> Amelia Clare Ann Barford Cowley. <laughs> Benjamin George Beebe. Elizabeth Banton.
Loveday Roseanne Beresford. Elizabeth Brown. Sophie Corden. Inga Denny. Tracy Ann Dixon. Eden Donnelly. Graham Dunk. Bethany Jane Fallows. Natalka Goddard. Chloe Howe. Laura Ann Kurtigan. Bethany Lloyd. Kate Hannah Lovely. Jessica Dana Magan. Emily Helen McCracken. Jessica Oates. Emily Sargent. Angelica Scott. Ellie Mae Sutton. Caitlin Leo Walker. Linda Wally. Marta Justnia Didalska. The Certificate of Higher Education in Healthcare Practice. Holly Rebecca Village. The Honours Degree of Bachelor of Science in Paramedic Science. Isabel Abbott. <laughs> Helen Louise Booth. Georgia Brailsford. Emily Grace Bull. Harriet Clark. Charlotte Cripps. Holly DeBank Mundy. Grace Megan Hawkins. James Holdsworth. Caroline Huxley. Naomi Louise Bernadette Hyde. Amy Page Kemp. Francesca Machen. Karen Nuns. Morgan Parsley. Ashley Ross. Christine Louise Shields. Scott Oliver Warburton.
Olivia Whittingham. Lisa Wicks. Honours degree of Bachelor of Science in Professional Practice. Joanne Susan Bailey. <laughs> Natalie Jane Beaumont. <laughs> Bidju Bidju. <laughs> Princey Bidji. Lucy Blakey. Sarah Cartwright. Helen Elizabeth Chance. Grace Ella Rose Collins. Philippa Davies. Lauren Amber Fost. Shannon Louise Hansen. Emma Husky. Sally Ann Howitt. Julie Martin. Claire Louise Musson. Rebecca Lauren Perfect. April Romella. Stephen Reed. Michael Stragg. <laughs> Catherine Shaw. <laughs> Anne Simpson. <laughs> Julie Todd. <laughs> Honours degree of Bachelor of Science in Social Work. Joanna Wright. <laughs> Foundation degree in science in nursing associate. Charlene Brighton. <laughs> Ellie May Cook. <laughs> Isabella Barbara Dyber. Katie Louise Fawcett. <laughs> Caitlin Page Jameson. <laughs> Amy Claire Jones. <laughs> Bethany Luck. <laughs> Laura Miles. Kizzy O'Hara. <laughs> Ellie Mae Partington. <laughs> Rachel Shepherd. <laughs> Alex Louise Skinner. <laughs> Amy Smith. Harriet Smith. <laughs> Sophie Louise Turner. <laughs> Jessica Vickers. <laughs> 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 
Olivia Molly Vickers. Tamara Leanne Wellen. Helen Joy Worthington. And that concludes the presentation of the awards this evening. We now invite Ms. Molly Payne to say a few words on behalf of those graduating this evening. Pro-Chancellor, Provost, distinguished guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. To begin this speech, I would like to say what an honor and a privilege it is not only to be given the opportunity to graduate in this beautiful setting alongside my peers, but also to be invited to deliver the student speech of thanks on behalf of the School of Health and Social Care and myself. For that, I thank you. This evening's graduation ceremony is nothing short of a momentous occasion for our graduating students, and it provides the opportunity for us to not only celebrate our achievements, but also reflect on the journey we have been on over the last few years here at the University of Lincoln. I chose the word journey to describe our time studying as it is the only word I could find that felt fitting. Between us, we have gained a plethora of experiences, some which will shape us for life. There have been highs and there have been lows. There may have even been times when we felt like giving up, but we didn't give up and we made it here today, graduates of the University of Lincoln. But this journey would not have been possible without the love and support of our tutors, families and friends, for which we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. To our academics and tutors, thank you for pushing us, for praising us and for seeing our potential. To our families, thank you for loving us, for listening to both our gripes and our rejoices and for lifting us up when times felt hard. To our friends, thank you for being there to share in the laughter and the tears, for being the voice of reason sometimes and for being just that, our friends. Finally, I would like to conclude with a poem of which the words will undoubtedly resonate with our graduates here today, and I hope it will continue to resonate beyond today as we take our first steps into our future careers. Don't Quit by M. Tarun Prasad. When times are hard, you might stop for a bit, but it's not over until the moment you quit. On a river's bridge, failures are the planks. Take one step at a time until you reach its banks. Don't give up on your dreams, chase them instead. You will find one morning as you wake up from bed that you are the person of whom you dreamed and you can reach great heights, impossible though it seemed. When things go wrong and your back is to the wall, try to stand up, no more can you fall. Life is full of ups and downs, take them in your stride. You will discover your little star hidden inside. Thank you and congratulations. So our ceremony today is now drawing to its close. Our thanks go to the guests who have supported us through the years uh, and also the students. We hope you will continue to be in touch with us. We also hope that you, our graduates, will keep in touch through the alumni network, not only with each other, but also with your university, and watch its future progress with pride as we will watch yours. As graduates, I invite you to take your rightful places in the academic procession as we move from the cathedral across to the castle grounds where the alumni celebration reception 
has been prepared for everyone here. This is your day. If you ever have cause to doubt yourself over the coming years, remind yourself of today and the fact that you were here graduating despite the difficulties of the last three years. Reassure yourself that you've demonstrated an ability to adapt, to deal with new situations and challenges, and still to achieve your objectives. All that now remains is for me to express the university's best wishes to you in the words of an old Celtic blessing. May the road rise up before you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may your God hold you in the hollow of the hand. My congratulations to you all. Well done. Our ceremony is now concluded. The academic procession will leave the platform and make its way through the Great West Door and across Castle Square. As it passes, our new graduates will themselves take their places in the procession and leave the cathedral. As they do so, please stay in your places and give them a final round of applause before you join them in the castle grounds. Please all rise for the full academic procession.